I ate a lot of processed food growing up. Um, organic food is expensive. You go to Whole Foods, the tomato is $4, you know, and I can't afford that. So uh, how do we get this nutritional food that's not laced with pesticides um, into the hands of people that need it the most? take front yards, backyards, put gardens in them, and sell the food through um, a program called Community Supported Agriculture. This is Herbiculture Community Farms Front Yard. It was the first one we did, um, started three years ago. We really do biointensive gardening where we plant things that can be harvested multiple times um, and or can be compacted in a small space. Um, and. Uh, and then we try to do at least three crops in the same section throughout the year. So we start with spring crops, then we go to our long season crops, and then we'll plant fall crops. So we really, that's how we can grow a lot of food in small spaces. Front yard garden is awesome because it really just changes the whole neighborhood. People are always walking by and commenting on it and um, hanging out, asking questions. and. I feel like I've met so many neighbors because of having it be in the front yard. Um, you can tell just within this neighborhood, it's spreading. Like the different neighbors are saying, oh, I want to be involved. And you know, the yard just three blocks down, just give up their front yard to you know grow food. And um, I think it's a really, it has a really positive chain effect. So um, I started researching some CSAs um, in the Denver area. And I was looking for two things. Uh, first, price, because that was important. And second, um, like the most local. For this to be a CSA that's doing it on a larger scale than just one family, it can really show people that it can work. And I think that um, herbiculture is an inspiration and kind of an example that it can be done. 30% of our shares are uh, low income this year. Um, we donate a lot of food to the Safe House um, and Family Tree. They're both domestic violence shelters for women and children. For a lot of our, our residents at our shelter, um, they're in crisis, they're away from home, they're in a space, um, you know, living communally can be a challenge. And for a lot of people, I know for me, cooking is a, gives me a sense of comfort and a sense of home. So for our residents to be able to cook meals and share recipes with other residents that remind them of home and remind them of good times, um, is a really uh, beneficial thing for them. I feel like it's totally exploded and people when they walk by they ask about it and they say how can we get this in our yards and we have so much demand for people wanting to do this in their yards. If we didn't have Candace and John we wouldn't have the beautiful garden we have right now and if we didn't have the beautiful garden right now we wouldn't have when we would just have weeds and dirt.